A Providence man fights off several suspects. They tried to steal his car's catalytic converter as he was inside of the car. The moments were captured on camera. Alexandra Leslie spoke to the victim about how it all went down. Francisco Madrano tells me he was inside his car early Saturday morning when he heard a grinding noise and then spotted two legs underneath his Jeep Grand Cherokee. Francisco Madrano is scratched up, but okay after he says he fought several suspects off early Saturday morning. He had gone down the street in Providence for some fast food when he was having trouble sleeping. When he came back, he heard a car pull up behind him outside his Standish Ave home. I hear a grinding noise and I look out and I look in the, in the passenger um, mirror and I see just two legs under my car and I just jumped out. The legs belonged to a suspect who we later learned was trying to steal the catalytic converter from under his Jeep Grand Cherokee. The car park can go for hundreds of dollars in scrap yards and the cost to replace them can be even higher for car owners. That's the piece that, that they were after. He says it's unfortunately not the first time he's been a victim of catalytic converter theft. And I've always wondered what would happen if I you know, caught somebody in the act and I guess it happened. Madrano shared home surveillance video with me that shows him running out of his Jeep and into his driveway where he got into a fight with who he says were masked Hispanic men. Somebody stabbed me in the face with a sawzall. I ended up pulling the sawzall from the guy. Um, somebody in the back was hitting me with a pipe. Got a couple staples back here from him. The 36 year old says the suspects didn't get away with a converter, but his Jeep is in need of several repairs. I just hope that all the stops, you know, and people are being real petty and I mean, either I or they could have lost their life over something so petty, you know. Providence police took Medrano's report and are continuing to investigate the incident. Earlier this year, a bill was introduced in Rhode Island that would impose tougher restrictions on businesses that buy catalytic converters. That bill was held for further study. I'm Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.